we have learned about docker container creating it using docker file and the communication between the containers using docker networking now let's create a multi container setup that will have a database container service and a docker network hey friends welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is mayan and i am a software developer and on this channel we explore the strategies and tools that are commonly used in devops please like and subscribe to the channel in general any real world application requires database to store and retrieve the data when necessary so today we will try to create similar multi container setup we will have a database running inside the docker container and we will have another container running a simple task of creating a database and inserting data in it and we will see different phase of communication between them so let's try to divide our problem first we need to create or set up a database server then we need to containerize our application and then we need to somehow connect those two so that the application can transfer the data into the database server for setting up the database i will open the docker hub link for mysql this is the official docker image of mysql so to start the mysql server this is the command that we can use so this is the command that we have copied and i have changed the name of the database and this is the root password i will do one more thing i will map the port 3306 of my host machine to the port 3306 of the container now i can enter the database container i can check the list of database okay so this one doesn't contain the database that we are going to create now i will show you my server file which is a simple application it is a python application and here i am importing the requirements and then i am configuring the database like where is it running the username and password and here i am connecting it with the database and creating the database creating the table and then in the end i am inserting a data the user simple name and email and the data is pathan and the email is srk@example.com then simply committing and then close the connection as per the docker file here i am using a base image of python 3.10 alpine then i have created a work directory copy the requirements install the requirements and then copy the source code the server file and then running the server file so these are the files present in in my app folder and now i will try to do the docker build command now i can check the list of images so we have this mysql and then my app now i will create a container my app i will set the name as my app and i will put the network as host network in this way my app will be able to use the host network interface as we can see that this is able to connect the database and insert the data into it now let's check the data i will again try the command show databases here we have a new database called my database so i will just use the command use my database i think show tables is the command there is only one table users i will check all the data present in this table so there is only one data which is name pathan and the email srk@example.com so this is one way to communicate between the containers and we are successfully able to insert data into a database which is there in another container now let's try the same thing with a bridge network before that i will delete the container by default if you do not mention any driver it will take it as a bridge network first i will create a bridge network if i check the list of networks as you can see the driver is bridge network then i will create the mysql container again with this network i will remove the ports and i will mention the network here i will remove the container that we have created my app now when i create the container instead of host network i will use the network that we have created and then i will mention the database configuration as environment variable which we have just checked using the server file this db host should be the name of the container that you are connecting with in the end i will mention the image name my app so as you can see uh, this has again created the database and now we can check it in the other tab
So you can see that uh, our data is present here, which means the new container was able to connect with this MongoDB using that bridge network. So this is a real life example on how you can containerize your application and you can connect it with your database. If you find this video helpful, please press the like button. Thank you.